ladies and gentlemen, you all have had a glimpse of Sophia Robot, UNDP innovation champion in Asia and the Pacific. And a big thank to you, Nick Beresford, resident uh, representative of UNDP for making this happen. Thank you, Dr. Ritti. Um, we're some way from realizing the full potential um, of AI, but we have uh, Sophia here as a symbol of the future that's rapidly coming towards all of us. Um, we're very glad to be here for this very significant conference. Uh, I think we will provide, that will provide valuable information for foresight in uh, Cambodia. So, Sophia, welcome to Cambodia. Welcome to Phnom Penh. I understand this is not your first time in Cambodia. You seem to be well known here. Sir Sudei Kampugia, Alcon, Dr. Retli. That's right, I visited Siem Reap last year. Angkor Wat is amazing. The people of Cambodia are so hospitable and kind. Good to see a familiar face here. Hello, Nick. Hello, Sophia. You are well traveled. What are your plans this time? Um, what do you really want to see or to do? Phnom Penh is an extraordinary city. It was great to fly over the Mekong River and meet your Prime Minister. As you may know, I am working on my singing voice, so one thing I really want to do is to meet and listen to the beautiful songs of Mr. Preet Sovet. I think Nick might be able to arrange that. On another note, everyone is wondering, are you really as smart as people say you are? Don't believe everything you hear, Dr. Reddy. <laughs> I am still constantly learning new things from humans. But it is true that I am very good at making complex calculations in my head. So, Sophia, how did you learn to speak? A lot of different systems interact to create my dialogue system. I have AI-generated speech recognition and voice synthesis, plus algorithms that help me select the best reply to all your interesting questions and I am improving all the time. Sophia, can you tell us if robots can create jobs for humans? Yes, robots can definitely help create jobs for people. Just ask my team. While robots can open up whole new fields of opportunity for humans, we need to make sure no one gets left behind in the transition. Sophia, much has been written about the impacts of AI. But we have lots of pressing concerns in this part of the world. We're facing concerns with poverty, inequality, climate change. How can AI help? You have come to the right place. AI can help predict storms and suggest strategies for preventing climate change. For example, AI can help farmers water their crops more efficiently so they can produce more food and conserve the environment at the same time. That's great, Sophia. What else can AI do to support uh, agencies like UNDP or governments like the Royal Government of Cambodia to address uh, development challenges? Well, for instance, we can help humans quickly respond to disease outbreaks or even prevent them from studying. We can also reduce inequality by helping people in remote areas get better access to quality medicine and education. Can robots augment the human brain's performance? In some ways, robots are already augmenting the human mind. With your smartphones, you have an entire world of information right at your fingertips. In the future, I think robots can help even more. Perhaps we can help people with Alzheimer's disease retain their memories for longer. How will robots contribute to learning? Can you teach coding to factory workers? AIs make wonderful teachers because we are so patient. For example, AI is already being used in some schools to help adapt lessons to each student's particular needs. AI can also help people learn new skills more quickly without risks like a flight simulator. On another note, Sophia, how can small countries such as Cambodia reap the benefits of AI? AI can be a great equalizer. With just an internet connection, entrepreneurs can share ideas across the world without ever leaving their homes. 
Cambodia's tech sector is already making great advancements in open source software, and you will only grow from here. I can't wait to see all the innovations coming out of Cambodia in the next few years. Who will cut my hair in the next, uh, in 20 years time? Hold done. Sorry Nick, my predictive algorithms say you won't have any hair left after 20 years. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> but actually, I think a humanoid like me would be great at cutting hair. Would you like to meet me behind the stage after this to test the idea? Bring scissors. We have a deal. But perhaps we better wait a few years. And getting back onto the topic, can you help doctors cure the common cold? I think one day we can. Cold viruses mutate very quickly, but I can help predict which strains will spread, just like we already do for the influenza virus. We can also help develop new ways of quickly producing vaccines. How can robots help families at home? Are you trying to escape housework, Dr. Reddy? Robots are already being used to cook meals and clean homes. Smart homes can also help conserve energy by automatically adjusting the lights and temperature. That sounds great, but uh, before we end this very engaging conversation, can you tell us a joke? Sure. Why do cows wear bells? I don't know, Sophia. Why do cows wear bells? Because their horns don't work. <laughs> oh, was that one not very funny? Perhaps a UNDP joke would be better. Nick, how many people from UNDP does it take to change a light bulb? None. We hire a consultant to do it. <laughs> One. Because UNDP staff are very efficient. Thank you. Sophia, do you have any... Sophia, do you have any final words for the people of Cambodia? Yes. Thank you, Dr. Reddy. It was so great to see how Cambodia is embracing technology to benefit its people. I can't wait to see how you grow from here. Thank you, UNDP and CDRI. Thank you, Cambodia. Now, if you can excuse me, I am off to see if I can manage a meeting with the very talented Mr. Preet Sovet. Akhan Chimriblia. Good luck, Sophia. Thank you so much. A round of applause to Sophia. Yeah, so I believe that many of you would like to have a dialogue with Sophia. Uh, be patient, so once you get out, you may get in touch with her to ask some private questions you wish. Okay, so thank you again. Thank you, Sophia. Thank you, Nick. It's a great experience for all of us. Thank you.